Dexter, the sting, haste in his 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 Dexter Hastings here for bbcolumn.com. I'm here in Mad Dog's Boxing Store on Boldmoor Road, uh, Sutton Coalfield. I'm here with former Commonwealth and British champion Wayne Alcott. Wayne, welcome to Fight then, mate. How you doing, Sir I'm good. Uh, so, I've, I've come here to uh, collect a, uh, my gloves, which thank you for. Um, how is the shop doing? How long have you been going now? It's been here about, I mean, Bad Dogs Boxing has been probably going about three or four years since we first started in a little market store yeah. over in Chelmsley Wood. And as you say today, we've grown and grown and grown with the support of the local boxers, Amateur and Pro. It's given me the opportunity to really expand it and, and deliver. And uh, as I say, for me, I feel it was a, a, gap, a gap in the market, if you like, uh, of people are actually having who had boxing stores that hadn't knew nothing about boxing. So yeah. for me, I thought, you know, what was no one who's been in the game, who knows what they're talking about, who knows the stuff, you know, anything in this shop, really, to be fair, I wouldn't sell to you anything I wouldn't wear myself. Yeah. And so, you know, we're only really going for the for the best brands, but uh, and giving you the best opportunity uh, to buy them from a store like this. Um, so Wayne, uh, the shop's doing well, but you, you've got you've got many fingers in many pies in the boxing industry. Um, your box clever. How how's that going now? Brilliant, mate. You know it's good. We, we work with the councils. We work with the police. You know that's busy. That's been going seven years now. Um, he's collected numerous awards over that time for, yeah, for what they're doing in communities and stuff. Really good. Yeah, you know, uh, fortunate to, to to still you know to be able to retire from the sport, but still be involved in it so much. Yeah, that's the main thing. Isn't it? Yeah, massively. We've got you know I've got the the amateur the the, the Wayne Alcox Boxing Academy. We've got the, the amateur boxers coming through. You've got Box Clever, and then the shop. Everything I do today is literally boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, uh, you've also got yeah, your football team as well, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Good shout. Yeah. You know, again, like you know, it, it's 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 all about obviously giving back to the community. Sharding Sharding Rules, which is the team that I run. Uh, and I'm chairman for the club as well. Uh, Shard Ends where I grew up uh, as a kid, and it was a gap there for me where I seen that you know nobody really, I, I didn't really have the chance to, to play for a kid, uh, club in Shard Ends oh, as okay. a kid. There was no clubs around there as such to play for, uh, and so you'd always play for the posh areas around it. I played for Water Orton Royals and oh, so right. forth, all the posh areas around it had teams. But Shard Ends was like you want to play for your own money, you could never do that. So that was part of the reason why I made that team. So kids from Shard Ends had an opportunity to represent the, the manner they were from. Oh, that's that's fair play to you. Like, and, uh, I must admit, I've, I've, I, I do remember the first time we met, and that was when I absolutely pestered you when you won the British title. Yeah. And uh, this man didn't know me. I pestered him. It was that long ago. It was over, um, not not Facebook. What is it? The um, MySpace. Yeah. It was over MySpace. Yeah, yeah. And true to his word, he come down to the gym with his Lonsdale belt, showed all the lads. Yeah. You know, they still go on about that today. The older, older now, and they still go on about that today. That that, you know, Wayne Elcott come down with his belt. It was a couple of weeks after you'd won it. Yeah, it was. And yeah. like, uh, just showed it off to them all. Like, and that's inspired them. A couple of our lads have gone on to be Midlands champions as at, at uh, the amateur level. But uh, yeah, that's that's mainly. Well, it's mainly down to me and my training. But like, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you a bit of a credit with your uh, with your belt <laughs> and that. You know, what you know what? You know, it, it was all. I've always, I've always loved. The sport and being able to give the sport back and obviously like what we're doing now you know with the shop everything i'm involved in really is about like trying to give the sport back uh, i'm a massively firstly proud brummy you know i spent a lot of my career based in london uh, i would love to have been around at, at this current time uh, didn't the you, guys didn't you play for um, a charity match for millwall yeah i did play for millwall i played against uh, the man you guys uh, in the in the fa cup uh, right. celebrity rehearsal if you like how did you get on there? Yeah, I done all right. I done all right. Where was was that down the day? It was actually at the uh, Millennium Stadium. Oh, was he? Oh, fair yeah. play. Oh, so, no, that I was just, the opportunity. I, just, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have put on my wall top and have always, to be fair. You know, oh, I'm, you know what? I'm best true, team I'm in a, London. The best team. Was you, know, all. I'm, oh, you know, you actually I, talking I, to a Millwall fan. Well, I forgot. Yeah, you are, yeah, yeah. But obviously, it's a true blue. I remember all my pals coming down there watching me, and I said, "Look, you'd do the same if you had a chance to play at the Millennium." And I think anyone would. It was a what an experience it was. For oh yeah, I'm sure. Put on that blue shirt as well, man. The proper blue. But it was funny. One of the guys I was up front with, uh, I didn't, I, I can't even remember, that's really bad because I can't remember his name there. You'd know him straight away, I know you would. But it was really funny because I'm not like, asking him for his name at the start of the game just before we kicked off. And he was like oh. looking at me and saying, like, You're supposed to be a Millwall fan. <laughs> you don't know who I am. He was, he, he was like one of the main men, to be fair. But uh, yeah, it was just an opportunity to play on the, the Millennium. Obviously, through, through, through Frank Maloney, who yeah. was then, he was a Millwall fan. And that's yeah. where, how it came about, really. He knew I could play a bit of football, so uh, 
Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Just doing it for, for charity. Yeah, and, no, you know I, mean? I still still do it now. Play, you know, do it for the blues. For the blues, are former players now. I've Lower level then. Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> ten years. Ten years. I've been with them now. You know, and, and and that's all charity. We don't take a penny. You know, we travel all over the Midlands and we're raising money for great courses. You know, uh, it's great to be able to get yourself up there to a certain level. Yeah. It's even better to be able to give it back. Uh, and fortunately, you know, that's what I've been able to do. Really, you know, in the I got. We, I, Literally grew up with bugger all, really living in Charlotte, yeah. and, uh, and literally that's all it's about for me today. Really, it's just about trying to inspire some of the young kids, you know, uh, in, in the stuff that we do, especially the stuff with box clever. Yeah, you know, uh, it's great for me because the kids can't say in any of these areas. To be fair, you know, in some respects, you don't know what it's like growing up around here because I do, and, and yeah. you know, it's it's you know, you've, you've got one life, you've got to make the most of it, uh, and you know, if I can inspire a few kids to say, well, if he can do it, so can I, and that's all I want to do, really, you know, and, and so you yeah, know. This the shop really again. It's, it's more of a hobby than a than a business. I oh, know most most definitely. Um, but to finish off, then have you got? Oh, I know you've just been really inspiring there. Yeah. But have you got anything to say to uh, all the people who want to tech up boxing uh, or or just inspiring words to them? Do you know what? If you take take up the sport, it's the best sport in the world for me. You know, and uh, you get so much from it. Even the non-combat side. If some of them people, and there's a lot of people who do. Uh, do some of the boxing side without the combat, just the, the actual physical endurance that you put yourself through. It's going to build your character. It's going to put loads into you. Those that are starting off, if you're going to do it, do it proper. Come and see me down at Mad Dogs Boxing, and I'll make sure you're in the right kit, uh, and we'll make sure you get the best start in your career. So I'm always happy to give advice. Whether you're just popping through the area and you just want to nip in and have a chat and just ask for a little bit of advice, it isn't all about spending, guys. At the end of the day, I always say to everyone, I want this shop not only just be, you know. Birmingham's number one boxing stop, or Midlands. Uh, I want it to be a, a boxing hub as well. So you know, don't feel that you know if you're in the area, pop in and say hello. I'm, all, I'm, a, I'm a quite a friendly person, despite the, the Mad Dog nickname. Uh, and I'd love to see some of you in the future. Wayne Alcock, Wayne, thank you, Top man. man. Cheers, Dexter. Well, I had a uh, wicked chat with Wayne Alcock uh, in Mad Dog's uh, boxing store on Boldmere Road, Sutton. Um, Bloke's an inspiration, you know, Commonwealth, former Commonwealth champion, former British champion, did win a, a, a WBU world title as well, but people seem to forget that, uh, you know, what an inspiring bloke, everything he does is to improve boxing and, you know, to spread the, the good word, the positive word, uh, he's a very positive bloke and a... Uh, if you do really need any boxing equipment, if you're teching it up or you're a pro, I know a lot of the pros go there already, it's the shop to go to because he, he won't sell you a lie. He'll actually talk to you and give you what you need and uh, steer you in the right direction. He's just got, he's just uh, given me part of the sponsorship, some uh, new ringside gloves, you know what I mean? Many thanks for that. Um, they'll be used in uh, rounds with Dexter. Right, so keep your eye out for them. Um, can't wait to use them. A few days before I go to the gym. But uh, be warned, lads, at fight then. I'm coming for you all with my new gloves. Uh, as for Wayne, he's just got to keep on doing what he's doing. He's got his box clever. He's got his amateur club. He's got the shop. He's also got his football team. He's a secret Millwall fan, I think. But <laughs> we, won't, we won't go into that. Uh, just an inspiring bloke. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Boxing your mind, act up, you will get boxing your mind. Don't get rude, fam. Boxing your mind, you ain't that dude, nah.